Next, we have, uh, performing the I Have a Dream speech, is Miss Tinsey Taylor. And Tinsey is um, uh, an alum of 2014 from the Rossier School of Education in the post-secondary um, uh, secondary education administration. It's called PASA. We never call the whole word, but it's post-secondary. Is that right? Post-secondary administration. Right. Okay. Post-secondary administration and student affairs, also known as PASA. Um, and I really love Tinsley. Um, uh, when she was in that program as a student, she did her intern hours at our office to help us create programs for that next year, like our Black Welcome Week, our um, Labor Day Barbecue and other things that we do at the Center for Black Cultural Student Affairs. Currently, she is the Assistant Director for the USC Black Alumni Association. And her reason for wanting to be a part of this program is to honor the legacy of this great man and to share her dream and have it in, and, and also have it in to bullying. And I believe she's going to have a book out very shortly um, on bullying. So stay tuned for that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tinsey Taylor. I have a book coming out next Tuesday, January 26th. It's called Bullied from Terror to Triumph, My Survival Story. And so one of the chapters in that book is entitled, I Have a Dream. And I use Dr. King's words in his I Have a Dream speech to spin it and talk about the dream that I have for ending bullying. So I will share an excerpt from that chapter. I say to you today, my friends, so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. These words echo in my head, and I can recite this speech at the drop of a dime. Mom and Dad taught me this speech in addition to other speeches, poems, and works of literature. When I was four years old, my dad taught me that I have a dream speech. He was very patient with me and taught me the speech paragraph by paragraph. And in one day, I had memorized this speech. With practice, wrote, elocution, within a week, I was solid in my delivery of the speech. I knew this speech from memory, which opened up a whole new world for me. People cried as I recited Dr. King's words because this speech resonated with them. They had experienced racism and had parents and grandparents who grew up during the days of segregation and Jim Crow. But at a young age, I understood the power of words, and I wanted my words to uplift, elevate, and to bless others. So just as Dr. King had a dream, I too have a dream. I dreamed of the day when people appreciated me for the content of my character and not made fun of me for the color of my skin or the size of my eyes. I dreamed that people would encourage me and greet me and stand up for me when I was bullied and not talk to me in a demeaning or castigating tone. I dreamed of a life where I no longer felt afraid to go to school. I dreamed that students didn't try to break my arm or push me into lockers or doors at school. I dreamed of a time where I would no longer pray to God and ask him to make my eyes normal because of the mean comments students made to me in school. I dreamed that my book bag would no longer be yanked from my back or my articles thrown on the floor because I was too small and too scared to stand up to those who bullied me. I dreamed of the day when I no longer had to pay a bully over $200 in hopes that she would stop terrorizing me. I dreamed of the day when I would not be bullied out of a telephone booth in England and called a derogatory term because I refused to get out when he told me to. I dreamed of the day when students no longer called me Oreo, Geico, Glowworm, Light Bright, or Banana. I dreamed of a day where students would no longer throw my awards on the floor after a ceremony or laugh at me because I preferred reading over watching television. I dreamed of the day when my classmates would become more united and would not pick on me because I did not wear name brand shoes. I dreamed of the day where I no longer was afraid to go to school because of what someone would say or do to me. I dreamed of the day when my parents would say, I'm proud of you. Good job.
job, Tensi. I dreamed of the day where I would no longer have a bag of potato chips thrown at me on the bus or have ice cream thrown in my hair at school. I dreamed of the day where I was no longer made fun of for being short or small. I dreamed of the day when I no longer cried myself to sleep and people would say, thank you, Tensi, for helping me instead of bringing me down with their words. I dreamed of the day where I no longer felt depressed or contemplated suicide. I dream of the day where I will make a difference in people's lives. In 2016, many of my dreams have come true. Those individuals who cut me deeply with their words are now my friends. Students who bullied me in school and bullied me in school are the ones who sent me Facebook messages and apologized. That little girl, me, who was once so self-conscious about my eyes and the smallness of my body, is now proud to be who I am. The people who once, the person who was once depressed and thought about killing herself is now happy with life and makes sure to spread love and encouragement to others. I continue to dream, and my dream is that the bullying will end and we can all take part in that by being more loving, kind, and treating one another with dignity and respect. This is my dream. Thank you.